Diana. I had a feeling we were going to be something special the night we first met in New York. I remember us talking for hours and hours, and even though we barely knew each other at that point, it just felt right. When we left Madame Geneva and walked across the Lower East Side to add a boy in the rain, you clutched onto my arm and you huddled close, and in that moment, it felt like everything else just faded away. I didn't quite know it yet, but I found my person. There are many reasons why we do ceremony, why ceremony is a universal human impulse. But in their most innate, stripped down form and expression, ceremonies help us pause. They engender a sacred, reverential space in which we can get still enough and slow down enough and breathe deeply enough to adequately mark and metabolize the magnitude of this moment. My hope is that this ceremony, this conscious pause, will shore it up and strengthen it and give it new depth and new resonance and usher you forward into your future feeling grounded, exalted, and powerful as a couple. From the conscious taking in of each other and this magical place, Big Sur, that's been described as the greatest meeting of land and water known to man. It's from giving thanks for these towering redwood trees and the unique way that they can hold the scale and grandeur of this occasion. For the fresh coastal air we're breathing, for the light of the late afternoon sun, just so, and the way it's peeking through the canopy of trees. Peter, I knew from the first time we met that you were someone special. And it's not just because our first date lasted six hours, though that was definitely a promising sign, it's all the little things you do that exemplify the incredible person you are. Not only do you accept me for me and all of my quirks and flaws, but you embrace them and make me feel so special, so cared for and so loved. Through the ups and downs, you've been the one constant that has kept me grounded and made me realize that I don't need a lot to be happy. Just being around you and spending time together is enough. Before I met you, my life didn't have a lot of stability, having moved from city to city so many times. But just like Desmond and Penny from Lost, and also our, our houseplants, <laughs> you are my constant. We've traveled the world together, but what I've realized, even more so this year, is that whether we're road tripping across Iceland or just lazing at home playing Monopoly Deal, what really matters is being together and sharing those moments with you. In just a few moments, all of that will be transformed. Your relationship itself is reborn today, both the same as ever, and yet totally new, imbued with the magic of this redwood ceremony. Take this moment before you say your vows to look into each other's eyes and feel all the love that flows between you. Let this moment serve as a call to presence, a time to reflect on everything that has brought you to this threshold, and a slowing down of this important passage. You brought my life more happiness than I ever thought possible. You crack me up with your, sh with your shenanigans, and you always know how to make me smile. You walk through life with a boundless, boundless enthusiasm and joy that's infectious. I may not always admit it, but I even love your weirdly endearing animal puns. Peter, as I stand here today, almost six years since we first met, I am so excited to marry you and spend our future together. I promise to love you, and more importantly, make sure you feel loved. I promise to lift you up when you're having a bad day and be your ears to listen and arms to hug. I promise to grow with you and figure things out together. 
I promise to keep working on my driving skills so we can share the burden of long road trips and being Uber drivers for our future kids with all their activities. <laughs> and lastly, I promise to be there for you, not just during the good times, but also when things get tough, as we make big decisions and go through more life changes. We've been through so much together. We've had to deal with moving across the country, and the scariness and uncertainty of a complicated surgery in the dead of night. But through it all, we've only grown stronger and closer together. I know now that wherever we are, wherever we live, I'm home because I'm with you. Peter, I love you and appreciate you so much. You came into my life when I least expected it and now I can't imagine living life without you. I vow to pursue you like I did when we first met and to keep doing so every day for the rest of our lives. I'm so excited to be your husband and your partner in life. I can't wait to keep growing up and growing old with you. I love you.